Then there was some girl that I explained this whole situation on Snapchat, which I'm kind of regretting because I kind of should just leave it, just let it dry out. Because, you know, you know, but I'm still kind of heated. So I guess I'm kind of reacting off of emotion when I should just use logic and just say, fuck it. But I posted a story a compilation on Snapchat about the situation. And this girl that was over here the other day, she's taking his side. And she called him the other day and was like, yo, you should beat Tyshawn's ass because he's over here talking about you. It doesn't matter that I'm talking about him. He, he deserves to be talked about. If a motherfucker steal from you, of course you're gonna talk about it and spread the, spread the info everywhere. So that because I I pretty much told her like, yo, I'm giving people a warning so he don't so they don't let him do the same shit to them. I'm actually being helpful and beneficial. You know. I mean, it's this this situation is childish, and I don't like being put in childish situations. You know, it's childish, and she even said this is some childish shit. It is some childish shit. It kind of, it very much is, but it is what it is. Fuck that. <laughs> but she's over here taking his side. I'm like, motherfucker, he told me specifically that he don't even fuck with you. He told me specifically your name. He don't fuck with you and you taking his side. The nigga did me wrong and you taking his side. Right? You taking his side. You, you told him he should beat my ass. And you told me that I'm lucky that he's not going to beat my ass. Like... I should be beating his ass. He, he, he can't beat me up, dude. He cannot beat me up. It, like, it is 100% guaranteed that he can't beat me. I'm not saying I'm the best fighter in the world because I'm not. You know, far from that. But I know for a fact he cannot beat me. I, like, I, there's not even an inch of fear in beating this nigga up. Like, he's like 150. I weigh like 2, 207 or some shit. Over a 50-pound difference. <laughs> Not saying that that's always a guaranteed W in a fight, but I'm just saying I'm at the advantage here. So, yeah. Like, what? Like, shut the fuck up. So, I'm over explaining myself. Like, yo, what are you talking about? Why are you taking his side? The person who told me. And then I sent her a message of him clowning her through text messages, and she's still taking his side. I'm like, why are you taking his side for? He's literally clowning you. I have a video that, that I just deleted, by the way. Of him talking shit about, I mean, of him trolling you, playing with your, playing with your emotions, lying to you, and you taking his side. And I called my mom about it, and I told her the situation. My mom said, "Yo, you just gotta let it go." And I already knew people people was gonna take his side anyways. Some people are taking my side, but that's she's the person who's taking his side, even though I presented all the facts. Because nowadays people don't believe in facts; they they believe in what they want to believe. You feel me? But and my mom told me, "Hey, Tyshawn, man, but guaranteed, if you stole from him, she'll be on your ass. She'll be like making you to look like a villain if you stole from him." But now that you're on the receiving end of it, she's, you know, like I bet you if I stole from him, she'll be on some bullshit. But even though I, I'm the one that got wronged in this situation, she's on his side because she likes him. She wants to fuck him because she thinks he's cute. What kind of stupid shit is that? That's some stupid shit. You gonna take his side because you wanna fuck him. You fucking dumb broad. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit. But th this is a taste, because I already know the situation because it's kind of similar to how people in the world will side with the government, with the oppressors, rather than rather than the oppressed. Just like back in slavery, the, the fucking house nigga or the Uncle Tom, the Uncle Ruckus. Master, master, the slaves are planning a revolt. Master, master, they're going to come and they're going to... Because, you know, like the motherfuckers be planning a fucking revolt. The fucking sucker ass slave listening to it. You know, you know, hey, hey, hey guys, we're going to start a revolt at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Da, 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 da. He, he, the punk ass Uncle Ruckus. Master, master, they're going to start a revolt. Master, master. And then they get ready to start a revolt. And but... Because that nigga told, now the revolt gets stifled because this nigga said some shit. You, so you're siding with the person who's oppressing your punk ass. <clears throat> just, just like how people side with, with, with the fucking government, the people who's oppressing you, you siding with them. So th this is just a taste of that. Since I plan on being a revolutionary, this is just a small taste in what it's going to be like when uh, the, the, the fucking people want to side with the oppressor. You want to side with that motherfucker. You fucking stupid piece of shit.
So fuck that motherfucking girl, man. Shit. Yeah. And, and I was trying, I was I was trying to fuck her the other day. But fuck that. She don't need none of this cock. Why the fuck would I fuck a girl who who thinks like that? That's stupid as hell. Fuck no. I would never fuck a girl who got a bad bullshit mentality. Fuck that. And I'm going to stop hanging out with young motherfuckers. That shit dead too. I mean, I don't want to group everybody in the same in, in the same box, but even my other boy was like, hey, man, yo, you know, people around his age are just immature, man, you know, which is true because when I was his age, I was immature as well, you know, as far as like not not necessarily um, my way of thinking. It was just when it I mean, like I was still learning, though. I was still learning, you know, that 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 the, those, the, the things that I did at that age was necessary for me to be where I'm at now. So that's probably the same thing for him. You know what I'm saying? But even when I was his age, I wouldn't steal from a person who's helping me. That's something I wouldn't do. So, but no, nah, man, that's what it is, bro. Siding with the oppressor. So, that's all I'm saying, man. I'm out of here.